I deliberate endlessly over the relevance and significance of what I do. My job, granted, is to make you think it's important, make you glad you thought it, make you think it again. But the reality, it isn't. So how do I make it important? I'm a New Yorker. I was born in New York. I was fascinated with the shoe business. My father had been in the shoe business. He had a shoe factory in the toughest section of New York City at the time, called Williamsburg. And so I spent a summer there, and I quickly, within a week, found myself in the pattern room learning how to make shoes, because that's fascinated me. The idea that you could take a shoe and change it just a little bit, change the shape of the heel, it's engineering, it's sculpture, it's all these various art forms come into play. So on a literal shoestring, I started the women's shoe business. In those days, the challenge was not just what one did, but how one did what one did. And then in the early 80s, there was this pervasive consciousness, and there were these movements and for the most part, they were about hunger in Ethiopia. You know, and I was puzzled because I couldn't understand why people were reluctant to want to speak about issues that were so much closer to home and so much more real in their individual lives, specifically HIV AIDS. I wanted to speak about something that I knew was on people's minds, but not on their lips. The first campaign that I had was a collaboration with Annie Leibowitz. Originally, it was just an effort to get everybody's attention to, to talk about something that was very important, but I had a few people that I was close to that were affected by this. And then the essence of what the message specifically was became very personal to me very quickly. It was a very profound moment for me, personally and also professionally. And I realized I had found and was afforded this extraordinary privilege to talk about something that few would, others hadn't. And totally unexpectedly, what I was doing all of a sudden seemed important. And from that point forward, we've stayed on that road. In the fashion business, you need to put yourself out there. You take chances. But this notion of social activism is something that evolved, and it just happened. And it happened at a great time for me in my career when I was always looking to distinguish myself, not just with what I design, but with what I say. The more outrage I could generate sometimes was the form of encouragement that, you know, it's working. I do believe that we have to really intimately understand who we're imposing ourselves upon and who we want to embrace our brand. And it's about, you know, the proverbial putting yourself in their shoes if you want them to put themselves in yours. And I felt I could build a much more meaningful relationship with my customer if I spoke to them about things that were more meaningful. 